what's up it is the chinchilla notebook here and welcome back to my youtube channel today's video i'm going to be talking about a topic that i probably should have filmed earlier in the winter season but i am just now getting to it and either way it feels like we're in the middle of winter it's like spring is so far off because look outside it is literally snowing well it was snowing now it's just covered in snow <laughs> but basically it's really cold out so because of the cold weather, it is a lot drier in the air, at least where I live. I don't know if it's like this for all cold places, but where I am, it becomes really, really dry during the winter time. And I personally struggle with really dry hands, but another thing that happens is your chinchilla can get dry. And what I mean by dry or dehydrated of any moisture, I don't really know how to put it, is their ears could get dry and their paws could get dry. And as you can tell by the title of this video, something did happen to Merlin. The other day I walked in here and I noticed, it's kind of faded now, but I noticed that there was something red on there. And I was like, what in the world? That's his ledge. So this is just like something from the wood. But that right there, it's kind of hard to tell, but that is dried blood. And I freaked out. I looked at Merlin. I was like, what happened? And I saw nothing like physical on him. Like his fur was fine. Nothing. He wasn't acting weird or anything. But then I took a look at his paws and I don't really know how to show you. It's his back legs, it's his hind legs, but they, I turned them over and they were just so dry and cracked and they were just super unmoisturized in need of some serious moisture. So, um, and they did have a tiny little bit of cut. So it's nothing serious, it's nothing that he, you know, like bled out or anything or that he needs to go to the vet. He's fine, but it just opened to my eyes like what in the world have I been doing? Like I have not been a good owner to him because I didn't check. I wasn't even aware so basically what this video is is I'm just going to be talking to you guys how you can make sure your chinchilla is healthy and that their paws and their ears too are healthy. By the way I put that there so that he doesn't go down because you'll see in a second why. It's just going to help you guys to make sure that your chinchilla does not have dry paws or dry ears and that they don't hurt themselves because they can get so dry that they crack and like Merlin it can start bleeding so that's just definitely something that we want to avoid. What are you doing? What are you doing, mister? So anyway, I went to the local basin feed and supply that I usually get hit some supplies from, and I picked up this bag balm. Oops, it's upside down. This bag balm. So basically, I have talked about this in the video called Chinchilla Winter Care, and I talked about how, I, I literally covered this topic, about how your chinchilla can get dry and it's good to keep them moisturized. And I had never tried it because I'd never had a problem in the past, but upon discovering that last night, today I went and picked up some bag balm. And this stuff is basically for animals. I think it might be for humans too, but it said pet on the, um, on the package. So basically this is just bag balm and it says here what it's used for. So it says here hands, feet, elbows, knees, cuticles, lips, and face. This is probably for humans too, for dry, chapped skin. And I asked the lady who was working there because there was one that was in a tube and it squeezed out. And that one specifically said pets and I asked her if there was a difference between this container and that one and she said that there's no difference. This stuff I do know for sure, I've known for years that this is what you're supposed to use if your chinchilla is getting dry like their ears or their paws or their feet or anything. I just never tried it. So this is my first time I'm going to be moisturizing his little paws. I checked his feet again this morning and they were doing a little bit better like they, they weren't bleeding or anything. Yeah, so I am going to be putting this on him today and I recommend that you guys prevent this by moisturizing your chinchilla's feet every now and then a rule of thumb is that if you're if you notice your hands are getting really really chapped and dry mine always are then your chinchilla is probably suffering too even if they're inside so yes I have my tripod here and I'm going to set up my camera so that I can kind of show you let me just tell you though Merlin's not gonna like this he's going to protest a lot I might need to get my brother's help or something I'll try to show you his feet really quick and what happened and everything So, yeah, they're pretty dry. Just hold him and hold out your hands like this. Then I'm going to take some of this and then, oh man, this is really hard. You can put them back in actually, I could probably get those, thank you. Oh, by the way, you should probably get a wind roller. <laughs> oh my word, Bobby, you're not supposed to shed. 
he does sometimes, especially when he's uncomfortably scared. All right, guys, so that was a little hard to get him to stay calm, but I got it on his back feet, and then he's, he's not happy right now. He's, like, a little bit terrified by having to be handled, but I'm just going to pick up his front paws. See, these are easy. I just rub it a little bit onto his front paws just like that and then i don't think his i might put it on his ears actually let me just get a little bit on his ears actually let's make sure you guys can see what i'm doing just like that you want to make sure you're not putting too much because this stuff is kind of sticky and thick so don't put too much also don't get it too much inside their ear you don't want that little delicate fur in there to get all disgusting and oily so this stuff is quite thick so I would recommend that you guys are careful with how much you put on and also make sure that you don't get it on their fur because their fur can get matted if this gets in their fur so I would recommend doing it with two people even with two is kind of hard um, you're still definitely gonna protest and he is interested in what is going on there nothing if your chinchilla starts to like do what he's doing and kind of like Oh, he's pulling fur because I kind of got like fur stuck in there. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so if your chinchilla is doing that, it's okay. They're not going to die. They're not going to go to the vet or anything. Just make sure you put a very thin layer. If you guys are wondering where you can get this stuff from, you can literally get it off Amazon. I got a super small container. This one is... How many ounces? This is one ounce. And I feel like that's all I'm going to need because I barely use any. Like, look how much I like barely dabbled in there. You can get this off Amazon or at your local feed store i don't know if they have not pet stores i have no idea that's just how you apply it onto your chinchilla's paws and i just want to warn you guys that yes merlin got so dry and trapped that he started to bleed and you kind of want to avoid that you don't want your chinchilla to get hurt and have them be in pain or anything so that's just how you avoid it and again this stuff is called bag balm i will link a couple websites in the description box where you can get this stuff from and I'm pretty sure you can use it for guinea pigs, rabbits, hamsters too. I'm not sure though, so you should probably do your research. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm sorry if I scared you with the title of this video. Like, my chinchillas' feet started to bleed. I just wanted to tell you guys because you should be aware and you should also try to prevent this. So, that being said, have a great week. He is going to be, he's going to be grooming himself for a while now, wondering what in the world that is. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Nobody's home, so I sing my songs about you. And when nobody's close, I can think out loud about you.